welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today because I have not filmed a tag video in a hot minute and we have a new one created by Katie Marie here on YouTube. I'm actually not a huge follower of her channel, but I did see Angelica film this video and I was like, heck yeah, and I've heard so many people mention her in their videos, so I really need to settle down and watch this girl. And I'm so thankful she created this tag, so I will go ahead and link her video and her questions down below. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay guys, this video, this tag, had a very deceptive name because I was like, are people just describing their perfect subscribers? Like, which technically they are, but I had it kind of envisioned in a different way. So I finally watched Angelica's video because I know a lot of people have created this video. And I was like, oh my God, this is such a cool tag. So I'm very excited. The first question, do you subscribe right away when you find a new channel video or try a few videos first? I kind of do a little bit of both. Sometimes I subscribe right away because I'm busy and I might go back to the channel and watch a few other videos later or I'll see if they upload often enough, you know, I'll watch a few more of their videos. Sometimes I don't subscribe right away because it's like, mm, I don't know if the channel is my cup of tea and I'll just wait and see if YouTube suggests something else down the line. So I do both. Second question, does the make sure you subscribe mantra ever sway you to subscribe? I have never really paid attention to how that line makes me feel, but I know just based off of like, if you even do the tiniest bit of research for your YouTube channel or do any research on like how to start a YouTube channel or how to generate a following, a lot of people say, say that in the first few minutes of your video because it's like a call to action. And I definitely can admit I've done that before because I feel like it is a good idea. I don't know how effective it is because I don't understand my analytics to save my life. I literally just look at like, I don't even know. I just look at like my most viewed videos. I don't know, it's kind of fun. Analytics are kind of fun, but I'm definitely not a analytics geek. I know there are so many people that are so good at interpreting analytics. It's something I should know more about because it actually is very directly related to my current job as well. But yeah, not an analytics guru by any means, but I do think there is some truth to that, that if you're an average person, hearing make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out does kind of make you think like, hey, I should subscribe because I don't want to miss their videos. So that's just my theory. I don't know how you guys feel, but I just wanted to tell you guys my side of the story. I just had a moment of panic because I just got a mic. I got a Rode mic and I was like, did I just start filming and I didn't turn my mic on, but it's on, so we're good to go. Question number three, how many channels do you have the notification bell turned on for? Mm, I don't know. I have more notifications turned on for Instagram because I'm like such a makeup stalker, but I don't think I have notifications turned on for any channels because I'm usually always going through my subscription list, so I'm not really too worried about missing any videos from people, so... Yeah. <laughs> Number four, do you watch every video from your subscription feed or only your favorites? I wish I had the time to watch every single video in my subscription feed. That would be so cool if I could do that, but unfortunately I just don't have the time. So I do have to be a little bit selective of the things I watch. I love watching long videos. If you guys were to ask my husband, I literally watch YouTube like a lot. I watch it when I wake up in the morning. I watch it when I go to the bathroom. I watch it in the shower. I was telling my friend Leticia about this. I actually have this little phone holder. It's not even a phone holder. It was a plastic case that came when I bought a shower cap and I don't even know where the shower cap is but I use this holder so it has like two little uh, suctions on it and it just suctions onto my shower and then I just put my phone in there because it's a little bit deep so my phone is mostly protected from any like water not that I'm worried about that and I watch my YouTube videos in the shower. Like I'm dedicated like that. So I do try to catch as many videos as possible, but there are some videos I'm generally not interested in. So I don't spend my time watching them, but I feel like I do a pretty decent job. Number five, how many channels do you never miss an upload for no matter how busy you are? Honestly, 
Currently, there's no channels that I can say I've never missed an upload. Like I said, I don't have a lot of time and there are certain types of videos that I love to watch. I always love a good haul video. I always love a good will I buy it video. I don't ever miss Angelica's going on the wish list or not videos on Sunday. That is like my morning routine on Sunday. I wake up in the morning and I watch that video. Sometimes I watch it when I'm going to the bathroom on Sunday morning or I will watch it in bed and my poor husband just lays next to me very quietly. So I'm very grateful. So that's like the one video I won't miss. I miss that video when Angelica is late, um, but I try to be a less of a savage and not text her and say like, hey, why is your video not up? But I'm so grateful for her that she uploads that every Sunday because it's just such a fun roundup of everything that's going on in makeup and it's just perfect, so I love it so much. Number six, what kind of commenter are you? So I, <laughs> it's so funny because I am one of those people that don't realize the power of a comment, even though I love reading my comment section. So I'm trying to be better at it in 2019. Just leave a comment, at least so people know I watch their video because most of the time I watch their whole video and nobody's gonna know if I don't comment that I watched the video. I definitely have also gotten better at doing thumbs up because how I feel is a lot of the YouTubers I watch are have a lot bigger channel following than I do. So when it's a bigger channel, I always feel like, oh, I don't need to comment. Like, there's jillions of comments in there. Like, people aren't gonna notice my measly little comment. But honestly, I've felt more inclined to leave comments because Samantha March has actually been commenting on all my videos. And I think she must have like a watch list or something. I don't know how she's getting through my videos, but she watches my uploads, not like right away, but like videos that are a few weeks behind. She must be just going through them and she comments on like every one she watches and I'm like, oh my gosh, like if she can like take the time to comment on a video from like somebody that has like under 3K subscribers, I can take the time to comment on other people's videos, even if I don't hear back from them. I feel like it's just a great way to support a channel. So yeah, don't be like me. You know, just leave a comment, even if it's just like a quick, like, I love your hair, I love your earrings. Like it makes people's days, like for me, when people leave comments like that, I'm just like so grateful because I'm like, who the heck am I? And you know, it just makes, makes you feel really good. Also, I think it's good for the algorithm. If I'm not mistaken, I think it helps show that your subscribers are engaged in your channel, which helps your channel get suggested to other subscribers and other people that are watching YouTube or people that watch similar content to you. It, I think YouTube will suggest my channel to other people. So there is a lot of power in commenting and I'm definitely trying to be better at it and leave more comments because I feel like the people I watch definitely deserve that. Okie dokie. Number seven, do you skip ads or watch? I generally try to watch ads. Again, I think Angelica gave a good answer for this particular question. She just said, I know ads generate revenue for YouTubers, so of course I'm gonna try and support my friends. She did say like, if you have an unreasonable amount of ads, she's gonna skip through it, and I feel like usually I will too. A lot of the time, a lot of the time when I'm watching YouTube in the shower though, I don't usually pick up my phone because my hands are wet. So I will watch ads a lot in the mornings and stuff. It doesn't bother me that much. I was a marketing major, so advertising is interesting to me for the most part. So I will watch ads. Okay, number eight, do you speed up videos? I do sometimes. There's some people on YouTube that actually talk really fast. Like I can't watch Samantha on sped up because she talks really fast so nor her normal pace I can handle but I know even me like I can listen to myself sped up because I talk slow so anyone that talks slow and I don't have a lot of time I like to speed up their videos because that way I can watch the entire video which is important to me because I like to consume the content so yeah I do both Number nine, do you click affiliate links or use affiliate codes? I do use codes a lot. I must have been brain damaged because I have not been using links. I use like links if I see something and I wanna buy it. Like if I see something in Angelica's video, I'll use her link to buy it. But it never like occurs to me when I'm like in a, you know, flurry of, you know, I need to get this palette. I don't think like, hey, let me go shop a affiliate link. Like I'm so, Stupid, and I think Amy Loves Makeup said in one of her videos, you can actually shop your own affiliate links, and I'm like, I could have made some money back if I just shopped my own 
links. Like I'm so silly like that. So I'm going to start again, getting better at that because Hey, why not? Like I'm putting money into this channel. I deserve to make something at least to cover the cost of the palette. So yeah, it's just kind of funny when she said that I was like, you can do that. You can shop your own affiliate links. God damn it. So yeah. <laughs> and if you guys ever wonder too, I think I have like sometimes I try to link like my eyeshadow palettes and stuff down in the description box but I do have a link to my Ebates and stuff down there so if you guys ever want to sign up for Ebates through me I mean you know like that would be cool because I love getting cash back <laughs> okay number 10 what's your preference when it comes to video length your sweet spot for me it depends on the video I personally love long Q&A's. I love collection videos. Oh my god, I will sit and watch like an hour-long collection video. No problem. Um, so those I prefer long. I just prefer like a 30-minute video. Um, it's like my sweet spot because I can engage and I always watch YouTube when I'm getting ready and stuff. So 30 minutes is like my sweet spot when it comes to YouTube videos. Number 11, do you thumbs up most videos? I do, I love to thumbs up videos because again, I know it helps creators. I know it helps them with the algorithm. I think even if you thumbs down a video, it helps people because it's showing you're engaged. So if you ever wanna be a real hater, don't thumbs down a video because I think the YouTuber benefits either way. So I guess thank you in advance because one time I actually had a thumbs down with no views on a video. It was so funny because I screenshot it and put it on my Instagram stories and people were like, oh, don't feel bad. And I'm like, I don't feel bad. I think there's actually something wrong with YouTube if I can have no views but a thumbs down. But anyway, I don't really let this stuff get to me just so you guys know. So don't worry about it. And number 12, do you ever thumbs down a video? feel like I am, oh no, I didn't answer that. Do I ever thumbs down a video? Yeah, I sometimes do. Again, it doesn't really negatively impact the YouTuber. I think it's just a great way of providing feedback to a YouTuber. I know Paulina always says, give this video a thumbs down if you didn't enjoy it, so I know. And I think that's really smart of her to do that. So I do that sometimes with videos that I don't agree with, or I feel like, okay, you're really barking up the wrong tree with some stuff. I, get, I can sometimes get a little mad about some of the content on YouTube and I will thumbs down videos. Number 13, this is the last question. Do you share other YouTubers videos on your social medias? I feel like I do a really good job of sharing other YouTubers and their videos on my social medias. I mostly do it on Instagram, but I've been trying not to clog up my community tab, but I'm like, honestly, if people wanna see my community tab, they're gonna see it. If they don't wanna see it, that's fine too. But I have been sharing some of my YouTube favorite like videos on my community tab. So definitely go check that out. I recently shared two YouTubers that I love watching and I wanna make sure I'm sharing YouTubers that I genuinely enjoy. So I feel like if you're looking for really good recommendations, that is a good spot. And of course, if I ever see somebody made a video that I'm excited to watch, I will share that on my Instagram as well. So I feel like I do a really good job of sharing other YouTubers on my social media. If you guys don't think that, definitely let me know. And I'm always looking for good channel recommendations because your girl loves YouTube so, so much. So anyway, that is everything for the perfect subscriber tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>